Hey guys, Javi Astabro7 here, back with another video. Uh, this is episode 123 of my pickups, I believe. Crazy, crazy amount of pickups videos. Uh, yeah, um, as I've talked about in the last couple of videos, um, I had a massive amount of stuff to go to CEX. So, um, yeah, I've done that. I was, <laughs> I was in the shop. Uh, about an hour, I suppose, which wasn't too bad. I was expecting worse, to be honest. Uh, but just got rid of everything, all um, that massive uh, DS and 3DS <clears throat> um, job lot I picked up. That's all gone. Well, not, not all gone. I've, I've saved, saved. I've kept. I've kept a good few of the games I wanted. Uh, I had. Um, a few Xbox games, a couple of Wii U doubles, uh, some Xbox 360 controllers, a couple of PS3 games. You know, nothing that I wanted to keep. Uh, so I ended up getting. Oh, you can hear Forza Horizon 3 in the background, by the way. It's just installed in your update, so I couldn't be bothered to turn it on. Uh, yeah, I got uh, £487 in credit, which I was like mega chuffed with. Um, I was always going to get credit because I'd been saving the games up specifically to get credit. So, um, yeah, mega chuff with that, and uh, I spent every penny of that. <laughs> yeah, it's all gone. Uh, I regret nothing. Got some really cool stuff here. Um, so, I'll start off with uh, uh, local. Not too much, only a couple of games here, but um, yeah, that's the only local stuff I think. Yeah, um, uh, a girl on my local items for sale was selling a Game Boy and a load of games. I think she was asking about 70 quid for it, which is probably about the going rate really, but I didn't want to buy it all. So I just asked if she would sell any games separately, and luckily enough she said yes. So for £10 I got... Uh, a very nice boxed copy of Kirby's Dreamland, uh, which I'm very, very happy with. A couple of little marks on the top, but I mean, overall in excellent condition, I would say. And the cart cartridges on these two, I'll show you the other game now, but the cartridges are unbelievably good condition. And the other game, if I can get it out of the bloody thing, not boxed, sadly, but, um, it's still an excellent game to have. It's uh, Mega Man Dr. Wily's Revenge. And you see what I mean by excellent condition? There's not a, a dink in it or anything. So, mega, no pun intended, mega chuff to have this. Um, and yeah, to start with, this didn't come with a manual. So, I found one on eBay for £1.79, ordered it, it came. There's no in here, so complete. And then, literally the day after I got it, the girl that sold it to me messaged me and said, um, oh, I, I, you, you said you collect these games, because I was talking to her. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I found the manuals for the two games. Uh, would you like me to post them to you? And I was like, oh, yeah, that'd be brilliant. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have a spare band manual for Kirby, and um, I'll have the manual for Mega Man, which is awesome. Really nice girl. So um, yeah, and I, I sent her a picture of my games and stuff, just just to sort of show that I'm not a, a reseller. I do resell stuff, but you know what I mean. There's a difference. I just said to her, "Have you ever come across any more stuff, or you know, any boxes for the Game Boy games?" Because she had a load more games, but no boxes. Anyway, yeah, she's got my details. So that is awesome. Um, I suppose I'll show you. Right, the rest of the stuff I've got. I've got one PS4 game, and then the rest of it is all Wii U stuff. As you can see over here, there's lots of gaps. Uh, right, yeah, one eBay pickup, uh, which is a Wii U item, and that is Disney Infinity 2.0. Um, I think this is called yeah Toy Box Combo Pack, and it comes with Merida from Brave and Stitch from Lilo and Stitch which is awesome, morning good Nick. So another sort of 
Disney Infinity box ticked off the list. I think I only need one more. And then a couple more Skylanders ones, and that's all that little lot done. So happy to have that. Um, I paid £10.50 for that, which is good price, but it also came with. There it go. Elsa and Anna. Disney Infinity Toys. So, um, my kids might play with these or I might vlog them. I don't know yet. But it came in those anyway, so all good. Um, right, now back to CEX. The, the day I took them all in, I wasn't expecting to find. Oh, I've got to find one particular game. One second, people. Uh, yeah. So I've got my voucher and. Um, I thought I'll have a quick look around, not really expecting to find anything in there, but um, they had a couple of items that caught my attention. So I thought, fuck it. I had the best part of 500 quid voucher. I thought, screw it. So um, I picked up one PS4 game, uh, which I've started playing already and brings back lots of good memories. And that is uh, Assassin's Creed, the Ezio Chronicles. Is that, yeah. Oh, no, that's a collection, sorry. Uh, I think this is 25 quid. It comes with Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Assassin's Creed Revelations. Yeah, it's in the PlayStation at the minute, but it's, you know, all complete and everything. So, uh, really happy to have that one. Really enjoyed the Ezio games, personally. Uh, and I managed to pick up one Wii U game in there. This was the only one in decent condition that I didn't have. Um, there was FIFA 13 there, but it didn't have the right case, and I don't think it was a manual, so I just thought, fuck it. Um, yeah, I managed to pick up for six pounds, I believe. Uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. All in lovely shape, unscratched points card, blah, blah, blah. So, awesome. Put that down there. And then, um, yeah, this beast. I saw this. This is something, this was an impulse buy, but it was also something that I wanted and I've wanted for a while because I've sort of, I've got other um, variations of these systems. It'll make sense when I show you. But um, it was 120 quid. There's a couple of scuffs on the back of the box, which I can live with. It didn't come with the game, which I knew about. Um, anyway. It is the uh, 25th anniversary Legend of Zelda 3DS, the original. So, the, I mean, the front of the box is mint, top mint, a little scuff there, a couple of little scuffs on the back, as you can see, but I uh, mean, this end's still sealed. I'll get the system out, I should have got the system out beforehand, shouldn't I? But yeah, all the, all the packaging, is, pack, packaging is in there. And then you always get a box like this, don't you, inside. And it comes with uh, AR cards and stuff, which I won't show you, but the actual system itself. This thing is, I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at the detail, so nice. And then the back, I love the gold on it. Really nice. And it's nice and minty. Yeah, um, it wasn't the, uh, a, a Canadian girl served me, weirdly. Um, she was really nice, got chatted to her. And then um, I went back and got served by a different bloke. And his mate started laughing when I put this on the counter. And I was like, what, what, what? And he said, oh, that's mine. Uh, apparently he had to sell it for rent money. <laughs> so I was like, oh, don't worry, mate. It's going to a good, a good home. Yeah, that was quite funny. But that was all I actually got on the day. So yeah, that was 120. Um, uh, yeah, I spent about 150 quid, I think, of the voucher. So that left me with, what, 350-ish, just under. Uh, so yeah, this lot cost me that. And no, I'm lying. There's one game that I swapped. Well, I'll show you that one first. Um, so yeah, this one, uh, my friend Lewis, who you won't know obviously, but he was buying a Wii U for his little girl, a second hand one, and it came with this game, what was the other game? 
uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze and this game and he doesn't know much about games and stuff so I just said to him they might be a little bit old for her because she's only five or she's gonna be five I believe so I just said to him like as politely as I could you know I'd, they might be a bit difficult for her I don't think they're her sort of thing and at the time I had a spare copy of um, no I didn't I'd already traded it so I offered him a Lego game and um, yeah I went from having two Lego Jurassic World games so I now have none because I had a spare one so I traded it in and then afterwards I traded it away for this game anyway long story short I got the wonderful 101 uh, I, yeah I, like I said I traded him Jurassic World the Lego game so um, you know but you know he's a mate and um, I don't think his five-year-old girl would get into the one for 101. So a girl, you know, a girl, a game I didn't have. So another one off the collection. And yeah, and, uh, the rest of these were all credit. So I ordered 16, I think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I ordered 16. And out of that, three have got to go back, which I'll show you first. And two came without manuals or, or you know, bits of paper. But I'm going to keep them and just upgrade them over time. First I was going to take them back but I think I'm going to keep them. Anyway, the first three that I've got to go back, very sadly, um, this was probably, this was the most expensive game I ordered um, and sadly it's a German version as you can see by the massive green square there. Yeah and that is uh, One Piece Unlimited, as you can see it's all in German. <clears throat> which uh, I'm not collecting for, so this will be going back. Um, yeah, I mean, it sh I think it shouldn't be a problem as far as I know. Uh, I just want the voucher back and I'll reorder it and hopefully get lucky. Uh, yeah, I've kept the, the order form in here and stuff, so... Yeah, I, th I mean, it's 50 quid, it's not a cheap game. It's fairly sought after as well, so... Yeah, I'll just reorder it. Uh, and another German version, sadly, is Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Yeah, um, this the back is in English, but it is the German version. So, well, I think it's German. Anyway, it's not UK pal, so that one's going back as well. And this one, <laughs> right, Warriors Orochi Hyper, right? Hyrule Warriors. So that was going back as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm very happy with the remaining 13 or whatever it is. Yeah, I, I purposefully ordered the more expensive titles. You know, trying to leave myself easier ones to get, more common ones. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I mean that that credit, the best part of 500 quid worked out. I worked, tried to work out how much it actually cost me. And the, the DS and the 3DS lot paid for itself and that was the bulk of it. So I reckon I had about 50 quid of my own money um, in that voucher. So, you know, ridiculous really. But anyway, yeah, I went for the sort of higher end Wii U games. You might not think that when you see some of them, but you know, these are the more sought after ones. So we've got uh, Transformers Prime the game. All in lovely Nick. Happy to have that one. Well, happy to have all of these. I won't say that after everyone because that'll get annoying. Uh, we've got Splinter Cell Blacklist. Uh, I can't remember the prices exactly for all of these. I think Transformers was about 20. Splinter Cell Blacklist was 6. Um, I sort of had an odd, odd amount of voucher left at the end so this was like the closest I could finish it with if you see what I mean. So that yeah that was six quid, that was the cheapest game I've got. We've got uh, Tekken Tag Tournament 2 Wii U edition. Uh, I want to say this one was about 15 or complete. Love the Tekken games. Uh, this one I believe was £22 and that is Spongebob Plankton's Robotic Revenge. Again, not a common one, and that comes with an excuse for a manual, Activision game. I have to say the game looks awful, but we shall see. 
Uh, we've got Sonic Lost World Deadly Six Edition. I don't think there is like a different edition than the Deadly Six Edition. Apparently this is terrible, but obviously needed for the collection, all complete. Yeah, did I say the price? I think this was, again, about 20, I think. Uh, we have <coughs> Scribblenauts Unlimited. Uh, all complete. Been scratched off the points, don't care, but yeah, all complete. Um, just under 2018, I think, something, something around there. Uh, this one's pretty uncommon. I think this was a, over 20 quid as well. We're at Phineas and Ferb Quest for Cool Stuff. My kids love Phineas and Ferb. And um, I do as well because Bowling for Soup did the theme tune, didn't they? For Phineas and Ferb, which is cool. Yeah, again, all complete. Happy with that one. Uh, and then we've got two. These are both rising in price. Sadly, the first one doesn't have a manual. I mean, if anyone's got any, it's a, obviously it's going to be a massive long shot. If anyone's got a manual for this one, let me know. But um, uh, it's Pac-Man, The Ghostly Adventures 1 and 2. And yeah, the first one, no manual. See, I've, I've kept this in there. I'm not, I, I am going to keep it though, I think, and upgrade it at some point. Uh, this was uh, 32, I think, the first one. And I think the second one, which is complete, slightly bumpy but it's fine. Uh, I think this was around the 30 mark too. So uh, yeah that's those. We have Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Uh, excuse me, did this, is there a two disc version of this one that comes with the Wii U game? Or am I thinking of a different game? Not sure. Anyway, happy to have it. I think that was 15. Uh, and then we've got two... Um, I'm sure these are shit, but these are, again, quite sought after on the Wii U. Uh, I think just under 20 quid each, I think. Which is ridiculous, I know, but you know, needed for the set, obviously. Uh, and that's Monster High. We've got 13 wishes and new ghoul in the school. So you know, I'm sure they're trash, like I say, but uh, 13 wishes is complete. And I think this one is missing. Yeah, new ghoul in school has no manual. So another one I need to upgrade. I think. In my, I think I've got 100 games for the Wii U now, and I think only three of them are missing the excuses for manual, so it's not bad. And again, uh, this one, not a common title, uh, and Mint and Complete is Hot Wheels World's Best Driver. And I think this one was about 24, 25 quid. So yeah, um, smashing my way through the Wii U set, that is it for this video. Not a massively long one, but um, you know, some good. I've spent some good money. Well, not I've spent my own good money, but I've spent um, my voucher on those. And like I say, I'm up to 100 Wii U games now. I think there's only 150 odd, and I've tried to leave myself, you know, after that lot more easy, easy titles to find and cheaper stuff. So. There is a couple of expensive, there's like the Kokoto set that I had and sold before I was collecting, which has gone up to like a hundred quid now. I think when I got it last time I paid like 22 quid for it, which is gutting. Uh, there's the Hunter's Trophy 2 big box, which is again, best part of hundred quid. Um, I think other than that, I mean, it's, I know that obviously that's 200 quid and that's a lot of money, but other than that, I don't think there's any massively difficult ones to find which is why I'm trying to get the set finished now that's my aim I, I want to finish this set in the next you know three four months or whatever and then when my shelving is all built I'll be straight back on the PS3 set because I haven't bought any PS3 games properly for ages and because it's all in boxes and stuff at the minute I can't check what I've got because um, I haven't got any collecting apps for it or anything 
you know, and this is obviously right here, and I can, I haven't got that game, I haven't got that game, I can see it. And um, people seem to be selling their Wii U stuff at the minute as well, which is good. So yeah, I just want to smash this set, get it done, because I love the Wii U, and I think it's going to get tricky to find and more expensive in time, personally. And yeah, and then I'll be straight back on the PS3 set. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm still waiting for my fucking carpenter, mate. He's um, he's been working away, which is why I haven't had it done, my unit and stuff. But um, he reckons in the next couple of weeks he'll be doing it. So um, yeah, I'll be able to get my old TV set up here as well, and um, I'll be a happy bunny. So yeah, enough waffleage. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, are you collecting a full Wii U set? Let me know if you are. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you all again very soon. Thanks to any new subscribers, obviously. And um, yeah, I'll see you all soon. Cheers.